what's good welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is asia okay y'all let's go ahead and address the elephant in the room this beanie that i'm wearing on my head i know i know ignore it okay every day is not a good hair day it is what it is um let's just go into the video all right so I have eight fragrances with me today. I'm looking down because that's where they are. Um, and I will have the notes posted on the screen and with, with the fragrance descriptions as well. So you can see what each one's talking about because I'm not an expert. I just know what I like and what smells good on me and what I like to pair together. And that's just that. And I'm, I'm going to go ahead and apologize in advance if y'all hear my little brother in the back playing his video games. He's so loud. I really hope y'all don't hear him. All right, so let's go ahead and hop into the video. First fragrance, y'all. Before I even show y'all this fragrance, just know that this is everything. I can't remember if I had this fragrance at the time that I made my fragrance collection video. I may have, I don't remember. But if not, then y'all seeing it here first. This is one of my newer editions, definitely not the newest. Creed Silver Mountain Water. Y'all. Y'all. Oh my gosh. It smells so good. The title for the perfume is the perfect title ever. Period. Um, every time I wear this, I just... It's such a clean and fresh scent. It's definitely unisex. So I guess I shouldn't say perfume, but fragrance. It's definitely unisex, y'all, but it smells so good. Like, I don't know how, you can, you see the notes on the screen. You see the notes. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. Like, I, mm, it smells like you just hopped out the shower, but like not in a bubble bath soapy type of way, but like in a fresh, like, mm, type of way, like whatever body wash you use smells so good it just stayed on you and lingered like that's what it's giving that's what it's giving i get happy just thinking about this perfume like this fragrance excuse me Ooh. okay y'all so i got the description pulled up which y'all see on the screen right here so it says the adventurous silver mountain water evokes sparkling streams coursing through the snow-capped swiss alps a bracing landscape in which oliver creed a championship skier finds relaxation and renewal um it's a long it's a long description i'm gonna do the rest okay a bestseller since its launch this modern marine green scent captures the purity of mountain soft milky sweet black currants mixed with green tea the richness the richness of bergamot and sandalwood it's opaque white bottle hints at icy snow banks topped with a glistening cap this description is literally perfect y'all and i think i know why i like it so much because it has bergamot and sandalwood i don't know if I, yeah i've said this before um i love any fragrance that has bergamot in it bergamot musk and sandalwood those are like my top three when it comes to like fragrance notes like i love those so much oh my gosh all right y'all so next up we have my favorite right now tom ford soleil blanc y'all know i love this fragrance so much fragrance description we got the addictive solar floral amber scent evokes remote private islands where summer lasts all year and one day seamlessly blends into the next. Alive with seductive cardamom and refreshingly de decadent Long Long, Sole Blanc. Is it Long Long or Lang Lang? I don't know. Um, I think it's Lang Lang, actually. Refreshingly decadent Lang Lang, Sole Blanc unapologetically exudes the endless pursuit of sun and luxury yes it does they did not lie y'all they did not lie please please okay <laughs> i just can i just say like if y'all haven't smelled this yet what the fuck are you waiting on please go smell this this smells so good like huh what anyways fragrance notes let's see we got top notes are pistachio bergamot cardamom and pink pepper middle notes are tuberose lang lang and jasmine base notes are coconut amber tonka bean and benzoin 
yes i didn't even notice that tonka bean in it i low-key like fragrances that have tonka bean so it so makes sense why i like this so much too i also didn't know i had bergamot in it either so you you learn new things every day smell this y'all just do me a favor if y'all don't do nothing else for this video smell this and subscribe to my channel <laughs> next is a hometown favorite y'all know i love this I, I mentioned this i raved about this in my perfume collection video by Rado mojave ghost y'all this right here i had to show the bottle again it's so cute in love i'm in love i definitely want to get gypsy water next but either way mojave ghost had to come first because it just smells a little bit better than gypsy water to me like this is my favorite out of all the Barreto scents that i've smelled and there's a lot so i definitely haven't smelled all of them probably not even half of them but i have smelled a good bit mojave ghost is a woody composition inspired by the soulful beauty of the mojave desert in this xeric wilderness rare are the plants that dare to blossom with a light and graceful character top notes of musky and brett combined with fresh jasmine jasmine fresh jamaican nesberry powdery violet then unfurls to reveal sandalwood finally warm chantilly musk rounds out a base of crisp amber and cedarwood leaving the raw spirit of mojave ghost to linger on the skin these fragrance descriptions really be on point y'all well so far like <laughs> okay notes top notes are amber and this berry middle notes are magnolia sandalwood and violet and then base notes are cedarwood musk and vetiver y'all finna laugh at how tiny this is but it's just a sample like i haven't bought the full size bottle yet okay i haven't <laughs> so we have nest madagascar vanilla it's so cute look at it uh, so cute this i've only wore this what three times now it smells so good uh, and i like to pair it with ysl libre so they go together real bad like you really need to smell both of these and then smell them together i love layering perfumes and this when i found out this combo ooh, yes this one has a really short description it just says capture the allure of madagascar's rich landscape with the warm essence of vanilla bean the subtle floracy of vanilla orchid and a hint of coconut this one didn't have like notes listed based on top middle and base it just has keynotes so the keynotes are vanilla bean vanilla orchid and coconut very nice i feel like that coconut is what makes it different from like other vanilla scents because there is a slew of vanilla scents you can buy out there but this one yeah so next we have ysl libre this is a cold favorite fan favorite one of my favorites of course because it's even lower than it was the last time i showed y'all this fragrance Mm. another thing i love about this fragrance you can literally wear this year round it mixes well with so many different scents and you can wear this during the day or night like this just so all around like just really good scent like why so really did they think with this like for real okay y'all ready for the fragrance description here we go libre eau de parfum i, I know it's not pronounced libre by the way i think it's pronounced like libre <laughs> i'm pretty sure it's pronounced like that i can't speak french anywho i'm gonna say libre libre eau de parfum is a bold and floral perfume for women a statement feminine fragrance for those who live by their own rules lavender essence from france combines with the sens sensuality of moroccan orange blossom and daring notes of musk accord and vanilla for a unique long-lasting scent so the top notes are lavender mandarin orange black currant and pedic petite grain pedic grain middle notes are lavender huh how you have lavender in the middle and the top note i don't know middle notes are lavender orange blossom and jasmine base notes are madagascar vanilla hmm musk cedar and ambergris okay but the fact that madagascar vanilla is a base note and nest madagascar vanilla pair so well like i just it sounds like a match made in heaven to me. I don't know about y'all, but that's what it sounds like to me. Just saying. Next is this one similar to this one is similar to Soleil Blanc, which is why it pairs so well with Soleil Blanc. This is Maison Margiela Beach Walk from their rep replica line. I can't talk today, y'all. It's so pretty. Um, the fragrance description is on the bottle. It says sun-kissed, salty skin. 
um, Provenance and Period, Calvi in 1972. And if y'all haven't smelled any of the replica line fragrances that Maison Margiela makes, y'all need to go smell them because they all, they all literally, like the title and the description literally matches the scent so well. And like some could be like nostalgic for you, depending on what it is. So like definitely smell these. These are really amazing. And they all last really well on the skin too. Um, but let's go ahead and pull up the fragrance notes for this perfume. Top notes are bergamot, lemon, and pink pepper. Middle notes are lang lang, coconut milk, and heliotrope. And base notes are musk, benzoin, and cedar. We are almost done. The next song I'm going to show out is one that I bought in Dubai. So I don't think there's going to be a fragrance description for it. Um, I don't know how to describe it, but I wore this and I literally got so many compliments. Like, it literally makes no sense. So I just... I just had to tell you. Um, I should be able to find notes, maybe. I don't know. But this is she. She is this. This is Musk Tahara. I'll put it on the screen. I hope I said it right. It's white. It's like a white musk type of perfume. It smells so good. Very fresh. A little bit of floral in there as well. Mm. It's like a sweet floral, if that makes sense. Like... I don't know let me see if I can find some um, notes for it but like I said it's, it's like musk but like sweet floral clean like that's that's the best I can do for y'all I'm so sorry <laughs> don't hate me that's it that's it that's all thank you for watching I'm just playing. <laughs> but no for real that's it for today's video um, if I had to pick one out of all of the ones I just showed you. Oh, that's kind of hard. I don't think I could do it. Never mind. I can't. I can't. I can't. It's too hard. I'd have to pick like three out of all of the ones I just showed y'all, to be fair. But yeah, that's all for this video. Obviously, there will be more fragrance videos in the future. I love fragrances. So I'm gonna always have fragrance content out for y'all. But as you know, that's not the only content I post. So if you haven't already seen my Dubai Dubai travel vlogs as well as my New York vlog, go watch those. Please and thank you. If you haven't seen my Skims haul, go watch that. Please and thank you. And if you want to go back a little further, watch my weekly vlogs. See what see what the life of Asia is like. Just get a little taste, you know. Um, my life isn't super interesting all the time, but when it is, I, I vlog it sometimes. Okay, I'm just rambling now. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I'm going to catch y'all in the next video. Have a nice night, morning, evening, whatever time y'all are watching this. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. For real, y'all. Like, do that. If y'all don't do nothing else, subscribe to, subscribe to my channel. Please. That's all I ask from y'all. Thank you. Peace.